Nobody could have predicted that INFJs would be able to ghost, but for them, it's an unabashedly brave choice to end a relationship abruptly and without regret. They target those who are usually on the same wavelength as them with this. This is what happens when a real INFJ ghosts you. 8. He'll at last realize the significance of INFJs. INFJs are masters of emotional intelligence first and foremost. They have a remarkable capacity to comprehend and identify with the feelings of others. You become acutely aware of the extent of their emotional support and the lack of their consoling presence when they abruptly leave your life. They frequently serve as an anchor for people around them due to their empathy. INFJs are renowned for having perceptive viewpoints as well. They provide original viewpoints and a thorough comprehension of difficult subjects. When they disappear, you realize how rare their insight and direction are in your life. It becomes evident that their points of view were a great way to get direction and clarity. When an INFJ ghosts you, it can help you see how amazing their ability to listen without passing judgment is. They establish secure environments where you may communicate your ideas and emotions. You recognize the unique value of their non-judgmental support as they pull away. 7. You'll become aware of your limits and dignity. Because INFJs are so sensitive to the needs and feelings of others, their sudden disappearance makes you face your own limits and the degree to which you've let them be breached. Your priorities may need to be reevaluated if you find that you've ignored your emotional health in order to satisfy the demands of the INFJs. It's possible that INFJs are sensitive to your requirements and feelings, which makes it simple to overlook your own obligation to communicate your preferences. This event may highlight how important it is to express your boundaries and feelings in an honest and transparent manner. INFJs are frequently perceived as idealists who put the greater good first and are willing to sacrifice themselves. When they vanish, you can start to wonder if you have sacrificed your integrity in an effort to maintain harmony or win over people. This reflection may inspire a newfound dedication to appreciating and honoring oneself. Their departure emphasizes the necessity of developing your inner strength and resilience, even while their presence brought consolation and support. This increased independence and self-respect can be fostered by this newly discovered self-reliance. When you lost an INFJ, did you also gain independence and respect for yourself? 6. You'll miss how intricate they are. You become aware of the lack of those in-depth, insightful discussions that formerly enriched your knowledge of the world and yourself when an INFJ passes away. Their intricate thought processes can stimulate and foster intellectual development. INFJs are motivated by idealism and a strong feeling of purpose. They are visionaries who want to change the world for the better. You may find yourself without the motivation they offered once they leave. Their dedication to issues and capacity to clearly communicate a better future may produce a vacuum in your life. Their empathy is another way that they are multifaceted. INFJs have a remarkable capacity to deeply connect with your emotions. Their capacity to empathize with you and their steadfast support can be priceless. You want for their compassionate presence because it makes you feel genuinely understood and validated. 5. The emptiness will overcome you. Few people can match the degree to which an INFJ can make you feel heard and seen. When they go from your life, you experience a hole that extends beyond their physical absence. It's the loss of that deep emotional bond. It is an emotionally debilitating sense of being ignored and unacknowledged. Their compassionate disposition frequently provided a consoling haven during trying times. Your emotional landscape becomes severely depleted when the INFJs are no longer available to offer that sympathetic support, leaving you to handle life's obstacles on your own. INFJs are also remarkably adept at offering direction and clarity when things get unclear. You could feel lost in a sea of doubt when they suddenly disappear, unable to access their insightful knowledge. The emptiness turns into a whirlwind of inquiries and a need for their knowledge. The space left by an INFJ's ghosting highlights the special nature of your relationship. Not only is their presence missed, but there was no unique bond that went beyond the commonplace. It's hard to sense them because of the void, which magnifies their significant influence on your life. When you lose an INFJ as a boyfriend, do you also feel particularly empty? Thor, you'll think that nobody can possibly comprehend who you are. 
You might think that no one else can understand the complexities of your feelings and thoughts the way that INFJs did when they abruptly stopped talking to you. You feel lonely and alone in your emotions when they are gone, and you yearn for their sympathetic presence so much. You may feel that no one else can understand your desires as well as they can because of their exceptional ability to understand your wants and provide comfort. It feels like you're lost in an emotional maze without a guide, and your relationship with the INFJs provided you with comfort and validation. INFJs are also very good at providing viewpoints and insights that clarify the intricacies of life. When they vanish, you get a sense of intellectual solitude and start to wonder if anyone else can comprehend you and your views as well as stimulate your mind to the same extent. INFJs frequently support your personal development and self-awareness. They inspire you to delve into the depths of your character and discover your inner universe. Their absence creates a hole that highlights the lack of encouragement and support needed to carry on with that personally demoralizing path. 3. You'll yearn for justifications. You find yourself trying to solve the puzzle of why the INFJs suddenly stopped hanging around. INFJs are good at reading your emotional requirements. So when they vanish, it can send shivers down your spine. You wonder if you should have done something differently or if you have inadvertently hurt them. The deep-seated drive to convince yourself that you're not at fault is the source of your quest for an explanation. Since INFJs frequently cultivate profound and significant relationships, their abrupt silence can come seen as a rejection. You yearn for an answer that will attest to the importance of your partnership and the fact that they valued the closeness you two had. The need for explanations may be heightened by their departure, which could also arouse feelings of rejection or abandonment. You struggle with emotions of vulnerability and insecurity, and you want confirmation that their absence does not diminish your value. However, do you really think an INFJ will reply to you only to reiterate everything? Two, you'll anticipate another opportunity, but none exists. INFJs who opt to withdraw may leave you disappointed if you were hoping for a second opportunity. This hope leaves you mired in anticipation and uncertainty, which can be emotionally taxing. Because of their profound awareness of human nature, INFJs may also recognize opportunities for the connection to develop and flourish. Their capacity to recognize the underlying potential in people and relationships leads them to believe that they might someday give the connection another try. Their capacity for empathy and their readiness to find the best in people might inspire hope for a successful resolution. You might think that because of their profound comprehension of your feelings and goals, they will eventually come back to you and restart the relationship. But the reality frequently turns out to be another. An INFJ's decision to see you is frequently motivated by their own need for solitude or reflection. It is obvious from their lack of closure and communication that they are not currently amenable to talking about the relationship again. You could start to realize that the second chance you were hoping for is unlikely to occur as time goes on and the stillness persists. 1. You'll take the lesson to heart and make a significant life change. INFJs frequently point out areas of your life that need work and development. When someone disappears from you, it might serve as a harsh reminder of the things you need to learn. You might find yourself reflecting on the nature of the partnership and the circumstances surrounding their withdrawal, which could ignite a drive for personal development and self-improvement. You may also have to reevaluate your values and priorities in their absence. INFJs are frequently motivated by a strong sense of purpose and a desire to improve the world. When they disappear, you can be motivated to live a life that is more in line with your values, which could result in a big shift in your objectives and desires. When an INFJ ghosts you, it can cause you to reflect and reassess your relationships. You could look into the dynamics and patterns causing them to withdraw and realize you need better, more satisfying relationships. Your social circle may undergo a significant transformation as a result. INFJs frequently promote personal development and self-discovery, and their absence can stoke the urge to make positive changes in one's life. You can decide to set out on a path of self-improvement in an effort to become a more fulfilled and real version of yourself. Since losing an INFJ, what good changes have you noticed in your life? In long-term intimate relationships, ghosting is a last choice, but in persistent and blatantly poisonous partnerships, people won't think twice about ending things. Have you ever attempted to ghost someone as an INFJ? 
What is expected of us? Does this imply that you didn't think your relationship with that person was worthwhile? 